Hey guys, it's Kelly here. How are you doing this week? Today I want to show you my Ulta haul, so stay tuned. Okay, so I went to Ulta on a mission for some foundation. I'm in a wedding in a couple of weeks and I'll be doing my own makeup as the bridesmaid and I wanted to get some products to kind of round out my look and I will show you guys that look in a video next week, so stay tuned for that. Um, and I rocked out with a lot more than I thought. So what turned into a mission for some foundation kind of turned into a haul. So let's see what I got. I tried out a couple of different foundations and the one that I ended up going with was Urban Decay Naked Skin. Um, this stuff just had a really nice finish to it. It was super lightweight. It has the feeling of a BB cream. It's got zero SPF in it. It also um, says that it's got like peptides and light diffusing particles in it. I don't know about that, but I really like the finish of the product. It felt really silky on the skin and the match was pretty impeccable. Um, so I'm wearing the shade 2.0 and yeah, I'm really excited to use this stuff. I'm wearing it today and I've been pretty impressed with it so far. I got the Ulta brand version of their gel liner. It's called Extreme Wear. Um, the black color is called Prime Time and I just really like gel liner because I like that you get the definition of a liquid liner, but you get like the smudginess and the smokiness of like a regular pencil liner. Um, so I kind of like that it melds the two. I think it's just a little softer on the eye, but the precision is really good. And it's super long lasting as well. Um, and along with that, I've actually been really intrigued by the idea of wearing like a really, really dark brown eyeliner um, just for every day. I always wear a black liner. No matter what it is, it's always black. I just feel like with my coloring, black eyeliner makes my eyes pop the best. But I've been kind of bored with that. So I was really intrigued by the idea of brown eyeliner and I actually ended up getting another gel liner in a super smudgy brown color. Um, it's called Sultry Scarlet is the color and it's from NYX. And this stuff is pretty cool. I'm actually wearing it right now and I'm really impressed with it. It really defines my eyes like a black liner does, but it's just got a little bit more softness than say a black liner would. And I'll just show you the color quickly because I'm really impressed with the color. Um, it's not like a reddish brown or a light brown. Um, and you can see I got into it a little bit, but look at how dark and smudgy that brown is. It's beautiful, it's like dark chocolate. Anyways, really impressed with this product. I've used the gel liners from NYX before and have been really impressed with them. Next up, I visited the fake eyelash section. Um, I really want to wear fake lashes for this wedding. I just love the way they make your eyes pop, especially in photographs. So I ended up with the good old Ardell lashes. This stuff is, you know, it's very good standby. I love Ardell brand lashes. They're dummy lashes, so they're not super duper long. Um, and I will obviously be cutting them to size to fit my eyes. I'm a really big fan of NYX in general, but especially their butter lip glosses, which I feel like everybody has been raving about lately. And they're worth the hype. They're super good. So when I was in the NYX aisle, I was like, maybe I'll pick up another butter gloss. Oh, my dog just barked. Um, maybe I'll pick up another butter gloss. And I actually found, I didn't even know these existed, but I found butter lip balm. And it's just like chapstick, um, but it's got a lot of color payoff to it. I'm wearing it today, and it smells like mambo chews. You guys remember that candy? Um, it's kind of like Starburst, but like fruitier. It smells like those shoes smell, and the scent kind of lingers, which I really like. And it's got the feel of a butter lip gloss. It's really smooth and silky on the lips, and it feels nourishing as well. But this stuff is good, and it smells so good. So I also picked up some dry shampoo at Ulta. I have used dry shampoo in the past, and I've not been really thrilled with it. Um, the dry shampoo I tried was really like white powdery residue, and as a brunette, obviously that's not gonna fly very well. Um, and it just, even when you brushed it out, it just always left a little bit of that dull white residue behind. So I wasn't really thrilled with it, but I thought I'd give it another chance because you know, sometimes you just need a little bit of dry shampoo in your life, right? So I picked up Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo, and I'm gonna be honest, this stuff is awesome. It does not leave any white residue on your hair at all, so it's safer for darker haired girls and brushes out really nicely. The other qualm that I had in the past with dry shampoo is that even though it made your hair look cleaner, your scalp actually felt oilier. Um, 
And this stuff actually made my hair look good, but it made my scalp feel a little bit cleaner as well. It took that oily feeling away, which I think sometimes that's half the problem, right? Like your hair looks oily, but your scalp feels the worst. So I really loved that stuff. And to go along with it, I did also pick up a brush because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, uh, my plan was to use it in the car because my hair was kind of dirty when I was at Ulta. So that's kind of why I picked up some dry shampoo on a whim. But it, it really worked. So I picked up this brush and I'm kind of glad that I did. It's from Wigo Europe and it's a hot pink color which is kind of sassy and fun. Um, but it's a teasing brush. So this is meant to just kind of give you that soft sort of volume when you te tease your hair. But what I love about it too is it's got this segment piece on it. So you can kind of piece off your hair and this is going to come in handy for the wedding because I'm going to be doing my own hair and this is going to help me get my sections nice and even and look, make my hair look professional. So I thought my haul was done and I got to the counter and they gave me some samples which I thought was really nice and they're both from Urban Decay and I'm guessing it's because I made an Urban Decay purchase. Um, they gave me a pretty nice sample of the 24-7 Velvet Glide On Eyeliner um, and the color is called Black Velvet. Now this is also something that I received in my Ipsy bag this month but it's okay because I really loved it so I've got another one as a backup um, and I'll be using this a lot it's kind of like a kind of has like a matte finish it's a really nice creamy eyeliner just like you would expect from Urban Decay's 24-7 line um, and it's a really nice size um, sample as well and then they also gave me a sample of the potion primer as well which I'm already a fan of and use pretty much on a daily basis so I'm excited to have like a travel size um, so that I don't have to pick, pack my big uh, professional size one. So that was my Ulta haul. It was definitely a bridesmaid themed haul. If you guys have hauled anything recently that you're absolutely loving, please let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.